Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Lufi Akmal and today I will be presenting the my topic which is a transistor that acts as an amplifier. So first of all, <clears throat> a transistor acts as an amplifier by raising the strength of a weak signal. The DC bias voltage applied to the emitter base junction makes it remains in a forward bias condition. This forward bias is maintained regardless of the polarity of the signal. The low resistance in input circuit lets any small changes in input signal to result in an appreciable changes in the output. The emitter current caused by the input signal contributes the collector current, which when flows through the load resistor results in a large voltage drop across it. Thus, a small input voltage results in a large output voltage, which shows, which shows that the transistor works as an amplifier. So we are going to look at the application of an off amplifier. So there are three main applications that we use commonly in our daily lives, such as a microphone, a radio, and an optic fiber cable. Mm, it can be used in a, a transistor and an amplifier can be used in a long distance communication because the intensity of the signal obtained at the output will be high. Next, we are going to look at the types of configuration based on BJT transistors. So we have three uh, configurations such as, first of all, common emitter. Common emitter amplifier configuration produces the high current and power gain of all three bipolar transistor, transistors configuration. This is mainly because the input impedance is low as it is connected to a forward bias PN junction while the output impedance is high as it is taken from a reverse P bias PN junction. Next, we are going to look at common collector. Common collector configuration load resistance is connected in series with the emitter terminal, so its current is equal to that of the emitter current. So the voltage gain approximate to 1. So last but not least, we have common base. Common base input current flowing into the emitter is quite large as it is the sum of both the base and the collector current respectively. Therefore, the collector current output is less than the emitter current input resulting in the current gain for this type of circuit is unity, which is equal to 1 or less. In other words, the common base configuration attenuates the input signal. So as observed, the best the best configuration for an amplifier is a is common emitter. So the common emitter amplifier circuit sh shown shown in the diagram is common is commonly called a voltage divider biasing. This type of biasing arrangement uses two resistors as a potential divider network across the supply with their center point supplying the required base bias voltage to the transistor. Voltage divider biasing is commonly used in the design of bipolar transistors amplifier amplifier circuits. This method of biasing the transistor greatly reduces the effect of varying beta by holding the base bias at a constant steady voltage level allowing for the best stability. The potential divider network used in the common emitter amplifier circuit divides the supply voltage in proportion to the resistance. It offers both current and voltage gain resulting in higher power gain than in common base emitter configuration therefore we can conclude that common emitter is the best and the calculation for voltage gain is as given below so therefore to conclude my presentation uh, transistor transistor which is mm, the best configuration which is common emitter is the best transistor that acts as an amplifier Thank you.